This is tenor clef, but what even are clefs? Well, when you look at a piece of music, the clef is going to be the big symbol that appears on the far left portion of the staff. There are, however, several different kinds of clefs, with each one showing the musician where the musical alphabet would be placed on the staff, depending on which clef is being used. This particular clef is called the tenor clef, and tenor clef is used for the lower sounding instruments when they're playing in their higher register. Those instruments being the cello, double bass, bassoon, tenor trombone, and baritone or euphonium. There are other clefs that cover all of the other instruments, such as the treble clef, bass clef, and alto clef, but we're not going to get into specifics about those clefs in this video. Now that we know what tenor clef looks like and what instruments use it, where do the notes belong on the tenor clef? Well, let's start at the bottom and go all the way up. Starting on line one, we have D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and E. Wanna try saying all those together? Let's do it. One, two, ready, go. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. That can be kind of confusing to remember though. So what's a way I can memorize which letters go where? Well, let's think back to the musical staff. We have five lines and four spaces in between those lines. And if you look at just the notes we have on the lines in tenor clef, we have D, F, A, C, and E. To remember this, we could use the acronym Dodges, Fords, and Chevrolets Everywhere. Then on the flip side, if you look at just the notes we have in the spaces, we have E, G, B, and D. And to remember this one, we could use the acronym Eat Good Bananas Daily. If you want to watch more music lessons for beginners, make sure you click one of the videos on the left side of your screen to continue your journey. And hey, if you want to see more content like this, then click the profile icon on the right side of your screen to subscribe to the channel. That way you never miss another video. Until then though, I hope you have a great week and happy practicing.